Stop. If you're trying to multiply these brackets, don't. You're making it 10 times harder than it needs to be. Let me show you the hidden pattern instead. Now notice the quadratic expressions in these two brackets. We're going to be factorizing them individually. So for the first quadratic expression, we'll look for numbers that multiply to 8 and add up to 6. And the number I have in mind are 2 and 4. And for the second quadratic expression, we'll look for numbers that multiply to 15 and add up to negative 8. The numbers I have in mind are negative 3 and negative 5. Now let's factorize. For this first one, we bring out two brackets and multiply them together. To get x squared, we have x times x. Now let's write down the factors. This is plus 2 and this is plus 4. Very good. And then we do this the same way. Multiply two brackets. This is 1 and this is a second. Now to get this x squared, we multiply x times x. Now let's write down the factors. We have negative 3 and we have negative 5. And this is equal to 72. Now, in order to have a clean pattern, let's test something. When I add 2 plus 4, that is 6. But when I add minus 3 plus minus 5, I have negative 8. So, they have nothing in common. Now, what if I add 2 plus negative 3? I'll have negative 1. Okay, now what about this? 4 plus negative 5. I also have negative 1. So what does that show? It shows that I'm going to be rearranging what I have on the left hand side. So now rearranging, I have x plus 2. I'm going to be pairing this with x minus 3. And then x plus 4. I'm going to be pairing this with x minus 5. Very good. And this is equal to 72. Now let's expand. I'm going to be expanding the first two terms here and the second two terms here. Now let's start with this. x times x is x squared. And then to get the coefficient of x, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So I'm going to be having negative x. And then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So this is for this. Now let's expand this. x times x is x squared. Now let's get the coefficient of x. 4 plus minus 5, that is negative 1. So I'll be having negative x. And then 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. And this is equal to 72. Very good. Now notice something. I have x squared minus x here, and I also have x squared minus x here. So for that, I'm going to be introducing substitution by saying that let u be equal to x squared minus x. Now rewriting this, I'll have this as u minus 6. So u minus 6 times, this will be u minus 20. So u minus 20. And this is equal to 72. Very good. Now let's expand this. So u times u, we have u squared. Now to get the coefficient of u, negative 6, negative 20, we have negative 26 u. Very good. And now let's multiply. Negative 6 times negative 20 is plus 120. And this is equal to 72. Now let's move 72 to the left hand side. We have u squared minus 26u plus 120. And as 72 crosses, it becomes minus 72. And this is equal to 0. So simplifying further, we have u squared minus 26u. Now 120 minus 72 gives plus 48. 
and this is equal to zero. Very good. Well, this quadratic expression can be factorized. So we look for numbers that multiply to 48 and that add up to negative 26. And what I have in mind is negative 2 and negative 24. So we multiply two brackets, equate them to 0. Now to get u squared, that will be u times u. Now let's put down these factors. We have negative 2 and we have negative 24. Very good. Now for the first case, we'll have u minus 2 to be equal to 0. Or for the second case, we have u minus 24 to be equal to 0. Now we're going to be solving these cases one after the other. But remember that u is equal to x squared minus x. So we're going to be putting this expression here in place of u. So in place of u, I'm going to be putting x squared minus x and then minus 2 equal to 0. Or in place of u, I'm going to be putting x squared minus x and then minus 24 equal to 0. We're going to be solving these two cases one after the other. For the first case, we're going to be using the factorization method. So we'll look for two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and that add up to negative 1. And the numbers I have in mind are negative 2 and 1. So multiply two brackets and equate them to 0. Now to get x squared, x times x. Now let's put the factors. We have negative 2 and we have plus 1. Now this means that x minus 2 is either equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now for the first case, the value of x will be equal to as negative 2 crosses, it becomes positive 2. For the second case, the value of x will be equal to as 1 crosses, it becomes negative 1. So here we have two values of x. Now to get the other two values of x, we solve this quadratic equation. But we're going to be using the quadratic formula since this cannot be factorized. So our a from here is 1, our b is negative 1, and our c is negative 24. So we're looking for x using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now substituting, we have x to be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 24, all over 2 times a, that will be 2 times 1. So simplifying further, x will be negative times negative is positive, so I'm going to be having positive 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared is 1. And then negative times negative is positive, so 4 times 24 is 96. Very good. All over 2 times 1 is 2. And now let's add up what we have here. So we have the value of x to be equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 96 is 97 all over 2. So there are actually two values of x from here, of which one of them is 1 plus the square root of 97 all over 2. And the other one is x equal to 1 minus the square root of 97 all over 2. Two. So we have four values in total. We have 1, 2, then 3, and then eventually four values of x. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up 
subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.